What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Vile. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm using my laptop to pretty much as the title says subwoofer wiring explained. So a lot of people wire subwoofers up but have no clue how to do it or they use some form of tool. So in this video I'm going to be using PowerPoint presentation to kind of help explain how to wire subwoofers up as well as use this website, the 12volt.com. This is where I always go for my tools. Um, so I'll be talking about different wiring configurations, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, half ohm, 4 ohm, 8 ohm, series, parallel, etc. So a lot of the key terms a lot of people hear or need to know about subwoofer wiring. So I'm going to use concept in this video, not really reference off of a physical subwoofer in front of you. So uh, PowerPoint is a really well used tool that I use for things. So let's just I identify this as a circle here as the subwoofer. So I'm going to go ahead and insert in a couple of things in here um, to be able to kind of explain the concept of how this works. So I'll bring in a plus and a minus on both sides and see how that works. That isn't going to be a good symbol to use. Um, so if you guys ever have questions or concerns about anything car audio, just let me know. I'll be glad to help as well. Um, a lot of people are trying to learn this concept, so I figured I'd make a video on this so that way I can direct you here if you want to learn hey Jacob could you explain it in a video so I'm gonna go ahead and explain it so first what I'm doing is kinda of creating the plus and minus of the actual um, configurations of your subwoofer so your subwoofers will come in a dual one dual two dual four or a single voice coil so like dual voice coil and single voice coil subwoofers and the wire configuration really is important for how you wire it to make sure you have the right phase as well as you have the right the correct way of how you're going to wire your ohm load down to. So t normally uh, AB class 2 channel, 4 channel amplifiers you don't want to ever wire to a 1 ohm load unless you have a special amplifier clarified for that. And most mono block class D's are down to 1 ohm or 2 ohm depending on the amplifier. Very minimal will recommend half ohm but a lot of people do do the half ohm configurations. Alright so what I was trying to do is just make a generic concept of uh, subwoofer wiring configuration. So let's just say for this one, this is a single voice, uh, dual voice coil. Du DVC is a dual voice coil. So if anybody didn't know, that's what a DVC stands for. Du dual voice coil. And then SCV is the single voice coil. So the only difference between that is the coils configurations on your amplifier. I mean your subwoofer. So single would have just one plus and minus so that's your plus and minus for your single voice coil which is this one this is your single voice coil highlighted in kind of a gold alright so that's your single voice coil so now we're gonna go into your double voice coil so a dual voice coil or double voice coil however you want to pronounce it so that's when you have two coils on your subwoofer so that's where you have your positive and negative on one side and then you have your positive and negative on the other side so this might seem a little high technical for some people that don't understand the general concept, but I'll make it as simple as possible to explain. And keep in mind that this is just experience over time that I've gained to do this. So this is a DVC, dual voice coil subwoofer. So for the concept of this video, I'm going to be referencing off of DVC, dual voice coil, and not the single voice coil. The reason for is majority of your subwoofers nowadays are beefy enough to have double voice coil, so you're going to have two voice coils configuration instead of one. So anyway, I'll delete as I add and ed edit this. So, All right, so we're going to start off really simple. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of explaining the concept breakdown of this. All right, so now that you have that, you're going to go into, let's say you have a 4 ohm, dual 4 ohm. So you have 4 ohm load here and a 4 ohm load here. So before I explain this video, I'll go into the simple concept of what I'm going to show you here. So you have the one speaker as I was showing you 4 ohm and 4 ohm so a lot of speakers will normally be 4 ohm or 2 ohm so what's going to happen is here's one speaker 4 ohm so I use the 12volt.com subwoofer wiring diagram and I'm going to be explaining this concept that you see in summary here on a video breakdown and just use this concept the same for 2 ohm, 1 ohm, 4 ohm, half ohm etc all the different ohms so if you notice you can go from 4 ohm to 2 ohm or you can go from 4 ohm to 8 ohm so what does that mean that means that you can either drop your ohm level by half or double your ohm level. So for a 4 ohm, what happens here is, let me change colors just to keep it a little bit concept. So 4 ohm can equal 8 ohm or 2 ohm. So how did you get that 2 ohm or 4 ohm? So 
the way that I, I actually figure that out, it's not how I figure out, it's just the concept. So what you're going to do is you either half your ohm or you double your ohm per subwoofer. So what this means is your subwoofer can drop to uh, drop your configuration or up your configuration to meet the needs of the required subwoofer wiring of that configuration you want to do. So if let's say you have a 1 ohm amplifier and you have a dual 4 ohm, a uh, dual 4 ohm can only go to 2 or 8 ohm, not 1 or 4 ohm, unless you're going to use only one of those coils. So let's say you have a dual 2 now. So same concept, dual 2 equals 1 or 4 ohm, not 2 ohm. So pretty much the same concept. So you have a dual 4, you can be 2 or 8 ohm, but you can't have a 1 or 4 ohm. Same concept, dual 2, you can have 1 or 4 ohm, but you can't have 2 ohm or 8 ohm. So the reason I'm saying this, this to explain is you're only allowed to reduce or up your voice coil unless you were to wire just per coil. So the only way to go around this is to have more than one amplifier. And what I mean by that is then you can have two amps per one coil. So you have two amps, one per coil. So what you can do with that then is you would have one amp per coil. Sorry, not two. And then after you have each amp on each coil, then you would have a four ohm load instead of having your normal uh, two ohm or eight ohm load, if that makes sense. If that kind of made a little bit of concept there. So, next concept. All right, now we're going to go into wiring more than one subwoofer. Uh, a lot of this stuff could be a lot of complicated information all at once. So, if you guys have any questions or something I'm saying wrong, just let me know. So, now we're going to go into, let's say you have two of these subwoofers. So, let me copy this over. All right, so now you've got two instead of one. So, what you're going to do here is you can have two dual fours. So your dual fours, what's going to happen is these dual fours are going to go, you can drop each one to two or eight, like I explained earlier. But now you're going to have to get into bigger detail. So when you put two positives together and two negatives, that's going to bring you to a, a two ohm load. So this and this, this is going to bring you to your result of two ohm. Let me explain this a little bit more in depth. So I'm bringing the quantity countdown of your font size. So that will be 2 ohm. So when you wire your enclosure or your subwoofers together, so you have your positive and positive, your negative and negative. So that's going to bring your 4 ohms to 2 ohm. But when you do that with this one, this one will be 8 ohm instead. So that way I can show you this concept to explain. So when you have positive and negative here, and then you bring your positive and negative of the other one, what this makes is an 8 ohm because of you double, just like I explained earlier. Uh, this isn't going to be exactly perfect explanation or how it visually looks, but the PowerPoint presentation, the goal I'm using this is to kind of explain the concept of how simple for wiring works. So you see that. So this one is on the right. This wire configuration that you see here is 8 ohm. So this is the 8 ohm configuration. This is the 2 ohm configuration of a 4 ohm dual voice coil. So you have 4 that gets halved to 2 or you get a 4 that doubles to 8. So now we're going to go into wiring two subwoofers up at once. So this is where it gets even more complicated for some of the guys that don't know. This is why I literally just break it down and say instead of doing all that math you literally could just go to subwoofer wiring diagram sites like this one for example and you have two speakers, the dual four that I'm talking about, and I hit view wiring diagram, and that's it, done. It shows you how you're going to wire it to get your one ohm or your four ohm. And this is how I'm about to explain how they got from four to one and how they got from four to four ohm. So you can return back to the single, the concept of what your ohm load was originally when you go in in quantities of two subwoofers. What I mean by that is if you went from a dual 4 ohm, you can only get 2 or 8, but if you did dual 4 ohm for two subs, then you can actually get back to the 4, if that makes sense. Um, it's all about how you wire your positive and negatives together and facing. So anybody that wants to wire more than normally four subwoofers or speakers together, it gets really complicated. I'm not going to break that down in this video today. This is just to explain the concept of how everything works with um, 
wiring a couple of subwoofers to be, to be able to teach the concept. All right, so now that we got this, now we're going to go ahead and explain real quick the 2 ohm instead of the 4 ohm. This makes sense. So all I got to do is just change the numbers here and explain. So 2 ohm goes to 1 ohm, 2 ohm goes to 4 ohm. So you have 2 ohm, 2 dual 2s, that drops down to 1 ohm because your positive and negatives will drop it down to, to 1 ohm from dual 2. And then your 2 ohm will drop down to, or raise up to a 4 ohm because you're crossing your positive and negatives. So there's series and parallel explanations. I don't normally explain it in that concept because you can get really confused if you write everything in series or parallel, especially with multiple subwoofers. But that's the concept for single subwoofer. And this is just two different configurations of wiring that dual 2 ohm can go to 1 ohm or 4 ohm. Same with the 4 ohm where I had it at 2 ohm and 8 ohm before. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and explain the concept of two subwoofers wiring together. So let me do that. All right, so you have two subwoofers. So kind of we'll just use the same concept case scenario to explain how it was already with two ohm. So now you have your positive and negatives together and your positive and negatives. So let's go ahead and run these over here. So you have your positive and negative. So this is going to be a two ohm load or a one ohm and one ohm because of your positive and negative equals a one ohm and one ohm. So what happens now is you have your one ohm and your one ohm load. But if you cross your positives here, this is going to be a little hard to explain without doing two routes. So if you cross your positives together and you cross your negatives together, this is going to bring you to half ohm. This is where a lot of people wire things down to half ohm. So one ohm and one ohm subwoofer wired together is going to equal 0.5 ohm. So that's what's going to make that equal a 0.5 ohm instead. So it'll actually go to a half ohm from two dual two ohms, if that makes sense for anybody that's lost. Just feel free to ask questions or just watch the video before you answer, ask any questions. So two, one, two dual twos will give you a half ohm load or a four ohm um, a half ohm load or a two ohm load, sorry. All right, so I'll show you real quick explaining it on the wiring diagram. So half ohm, two ohm, eight ohm. You don't really want to worry about the eight ohm here, just the half ohm and two ohm. So like I mentioned earlier, if you had two dual, two ohm, dual four ohm, one ohm, etc., you can get back to the same ohm load. That's how two and two from two subwoofers. So hopefully that makes a little sense. So you're going to be having a 1 ohm per sub equals half total. So each sub had a wiring diagram configuration of 2 and 2 to go to 1, and then from 1 ohm to equals half ohm total. And that was for this right here. This case scenario I'm explaining is 2 subs, 2 ohm DVC, dual voice coil, 2, dual four, dual 2 ohm DVC dual voice coil subwoofers gives you that one ohm per sub to give you half total. That's wiring at this configuration where you put all your positives together and you put all your negatives together. So now to get it a little bit more confusing for the guys that say, all right, so now, Jacob, what if I go four ohm? So this is how you can go four ohm. So four ohm and four ohm, just explaining how this is. So when you cross your positive and negatives instead of your, of your others, so I'll explain this real quick. So, all right, so you got your positive and negatives cross. So this is a 2 ohm subwoofer. Now you're going to 4 ohm instead of 1 ohm. All right, so you got 4 ohm instead. So you have dual 2s that are going to 4 ohm, 4 ohm load, and then this is going to go to a 2 ohm load. There you go. So 4 ohm and 4 ohm equals 2 ohm with this configuration that you're wiring here. So you have your positive and negative that raises you to a 4 ohm, and then you put this one together with this one, this brings it back down to 2 ohm, and the same goes for the positives. So you put your positives together between your two subwoofers. So this is not this is kind of tricky to explain on paper. I'd rather just do presentation. It's a little easier to visually show you than to write all kinds of paper out with my handwriting that's not pretty. So you see you got your 2 ohm, so you crossed your positive and negative polarity of a single each subwoofer. So you have a positive and negative cross that raises you to 4 ohm, and that raises you to 4 ohm on the other sub. And then you go to 4 ohm and 4 ohm, which equals 2 ohm when you put those two together. Because you're putting your negatives together and your positives together. So you have a, 
a forum in a forum. So it's the same. Explain. I'll explain this. So right now you can look at it this way. So that subwoofer that you see here, that's equal in that. Um, I can just explain it real quick. So assume that you have these two dual twos. So now you have a four ohm and a four ohm. So this these two four ohms now that you you went from once two subwoofers explained. Now I'm explaining. Look at this as one subwoofer now. You have one voice coil here and one voice coil here that's at 4 ohm from this 4 ohm and 4 ohm so now you're gonna get these to 2 ohm by crossing your positive and your negative so your positives here cross and then your negatives here cross between your two subwoofers and that's gonna give you your 2 ohm load from that so there you go so if you have 4 ohm 4 ohm that goes to 2 ohm so you use this concept with math when it comes to wiring your subwoofer up you either drop your ohm by two or you go up by two and it's just halving or doubling your ohm like I explained before and that's the concept of how I've always done my um, explanation of subwoofer wiring to people and I'm not going to break it down into any more than that I hope that kind of helped explain a little bit for you guys to understand how to wire subwoofers and that's the video so go ahead and check out this site the 12volt.com and you can see your different speaker quantities and what ohm voice coil you're using but just to explain the concept of subwoofer wiring here I hope this taught you something it may not be the most advanced way to teach you but hey it works for me and it's a way to for somebody to maybe get their um, questions answered visually instead of just explained on verbal so that's the video and uh, stay tuned for more this is Jacob Vile um, appreciate y'all watching um, go ahead and if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment. Later, everybody.